Hi friends, now we discuss Indian polity. Now today our topic is election commissioner. Election commission, the election commission is, the, is a permanent and a independent body established by the Constitution of India directly to ensure free and fair elections in the country. Article 324 of the Constitution provides provides the power of superintendence direction and control of elections to pal to parliament election to parliament state legislatures the office of president of india and an office of vice president of india self vested in the election commissioner of election commission does the election commission as indian is an all india body in the sense that it is common to both and say both the central government and the state government in it must be noted here that the election commission is not concerned with the elections to panchayats and municipalities in the states for this the commission of india provides several provides for a separate state election commission components article 324 of the constitution has made following provisions with regard to composition of election commission okay, the election commission shall consist of the chief election commissioner and such number of other election commissioners if any as the president may from time to time fix the appointment of the chief election commissioner and other, other election commissioners shall be made by the president okay when uh, any number of any other election commission commissioners uh, is so appointed, the chief election the chief election commissioner shall act as the chairman of the election commission. The, the president may also appoint it. The president may also appoint other consultation with with election commission uh, with election commission such uh, regional commissioners as as he may consider necessary to assist the election commission the conditions of service and tenure of office of the election commissioners and the regional commissioners shall be determined by the president since the uh, since its inception in 1950 until 19, 15 october 1989 the election commission functioned as a single member body consisting of the chief consisting of the chief election commissioner uh, and on October 16th, October 1989, the president, the president appoint, appointed two more election commissioners to to cope with the increase, increased work of the election from election commission on account of lowering of the voting age from 21 to 18 years. Therefore, the election commission uh, functioned as a multi multi member body consisting of three election commissioners however the two parts of the two parts of the two, two posts of election commissioner were abolished in january 1990 and election commission was reverted to the earlier position reverted to the earlier position again in october 1993 the president appointed two more election commissioners since then that until today the election commission has been functioning as a multi-member body consisting of three election commissioners the chief election commissioner and the two other two other election commissioners have equal powers and have received equal salary allowance and other uh, per request it is okay have equal parts and receive equal salary allowance and other uh, other perquisites which be similar to those of the, of the judge of the supreme court in case of the difference in of, of opinion amongst among the state election commissioner and two other election commissioner the matter is decided by the Congress commission by majority they hold office for a term of six years or until they attain the age of 65 years whatever is earlier the, they can resign at any time or can also be removed by for 
expiry expiry of their term article in the, okay independence article 23 article 24 of the constitution made the following provisions to safeguard the and safeguard and ensure the independence and impartial functioning of the election commission the chief election commissioner he is provided with this security of tenure he cannot be removed from his office except in same manner and on the same, on the same grounds as of the Supreme Court. In other words, he can be removed by the president on the basis of the resolution, on the basis of a resolution passed by that, passed to that effect by both the houses of parliament with which several majority, either on the house or other on the ground. Uh, to approve misbehavior or incapacity, thus the, he does not hold his office till the pleasure of the president, though he is appointed by him. The, con the service conditions of the chief election commissioner cannot be removed by from office except on the recommendation of the chief election commissioner. Oh, sorry, the, the service condition of the chief election commissioner cannot be varied. To be dis disadvantaged after his appointment. Any other election commissioner or, or regional commissioner cannot be removed from office except on the recommendation of the chief election commissioner, though the uh, constitution has sought to have safeguard and ensure the independence and impartiality of the election commissioner. Some flaws, some flaws can be noted. The constitution has not prescribed. Qualification, legal, education, administrative, and judicial. Or the member of the members of the election commission. The election, uh, election uh, the constitution has not specified so that the term of the moment, the, the term of the members of the election commission. Okay, the the constitution has not debarred de uh, the retiring election commissions commissioners from any other any further appointment by the governor. Powers and functions, the powers and functions of the election commission, commission uh, with regard to election to the parliament, state legislature, or and office of president and vice president can be classified into three categories administrative, adv advisory, quasi judicial. In, the, in detail, the, these powers and functions are to determine the territorial areas of the election commission of the electoral constituencies. Throughout the country, on the basis of the Delimination Commission Act of Parliament to prepare and, and periodically revise electoral rules and and to register all eligible candidate voters to notify the dates and schedules of, of election, elector, elections and to scrutinize nominations for to grant recognition to political parties and allowed election involved to them. We have to act as a court by scaling disputes related to granting of recognition to political parties and allotment of election symbols to them. The to appoint of other officers for inquiring okay in, in into disputes relating to electoral arrangements to determine the code of conduct to be observed by the parties and the candidates at the time of elections to prepare a roster for publicity, publicity, publicity for the for the policies of the political parties on the radio, on radio and TV, the times of elections to advise the president on matters leading to disqualifications of the members of the parliament to advise the governor on matters leading to the disqualification of the members of the state legislature. Okay, so here to cancel to cancel poll in the event of rigging, both to capturing violence and other irregularities. irregularities. Okay, to request the president President on the uh, of the of the governor for request request that okay the staff necessary for conducting elections to to supervise the machinery of election throughout the country to ensure free and fair election to advise the president 
relation can be held in a state under president's rule in order to extend the period of emergency emergency after any one year to register political parties for the purpose political parties for the purpose of elections and grant to them the status of regional of status of national or state parties on the basis of the power pool for performance. The election commission is assisted by deputy commission, chief election commissioner. They are drawn from the civil service and appointed by the commission with tenure with tenure system. They are assisted in turn by the secretaries, joint secretaries, the secretary and under secretaries. Okay, posted in the secretary of the commission at the end, at the end of the election commission to age as a state with the chief election commission officer, electoral officer is appointed by the chief election commission in consultation in the in, in consultation with the state government. Below this at this district level the commission the collector okay, the collector acts as the district uh, returning officer he appoints a, a returning officer for every day constituents in the direct in the district and presiding officer for every polling both both in the constituency. Vision, mission and principal vision, the election commission of India subscribes to be and to be an institution of ex excellence by enhancing active engagement, participation and deeping and strengthening electoral, electoral democracy in India and global mission. The Election Commission of India maintains, maintains independence, integrity, and autonomy ensures, uh, ensures. Okay, so the uh, 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 Election Commission of India strives to be an institution of excellence, enhancing active for engagement, participation, and preventing and strengthening electoral democracy in India and global emission. The Election Commission of India maintains independence, integrity, and autonomy, ensures accessibility, inclusiveness, and ethical participation of stakeholders, and ad adopts highest standards of, of professionalism for delivering free, fair, and transparent elections to strengthen the true electoral, electoral democracy and governance. Guiding principle the Council of the Commission has laid down lays down uh, for itself uh, guiding principles of good governance to uphold the values of and values and in the constitution and equality, equity, Im impartiality, independence, rule of law and insubordinate intendance and direction and control over the election electoral governance to conduct elections with the highest standard of credibility Freeness, okay, fairness, transparency, integrity, accountability, autonomy, and professionalism to ensure participation of all elig eligible citizens in the electoral process, an inclusive voter centric and voter friendly environment to engage with political parties and uh, all stakeholders in the interest of electoral process to promote awareness about the electoral process and electoral governance among the stakeholders, namely. Voters, political parties, electoral functionaries, candidates, and people of the people at large, and, the, and to enhance the enhance and strengthen confidence and uh, trust in the electoral system of this country, to develop uh, at the human resource uh, and for effective and professional delivery of electoral services, to build cap to build cap quality infrastructure and for smooth conduct of electoral processes, to adopt technology for improvement of in all areas of electoral process to strive adaptation and innovation, innovative practices for achieving excellence and overall realization of the vision of and mission to contribute towards the reinforcement of democratic values by maintaining and reinforcing confidence above and trust of the people in the electoral system of the country. So thank you. And here he notes 73rd and 24 of the Constitutional Amendment Act 1992, 61st Amendment Act 1998, with coming to enforce 1989. 